been traveling today, uh, came up from London, King's Cross, so I'm not going to make this too long. But I do want to cover this because it's um, symbolic of uh, two things, in my opinion. Firstly, the fact that female politicians get away with things that men would not get away with. And secondly, um, the, in my opinion, why the Green Party is unelectable. So Caroline Lucas, former leader of the Green Party, um, and as I understand it, their own the MP, has proposed that a way to solve the Brexit impasse would be to have a caretaker all-female cabinet. And her rationale for it being all women is that women, supposedly, are less tribal and more conciliatory. <laughs> um, Joe Swinson, incidentally, said something similar in May's last PMQs. Uh, now, this is just obviously insulting because it's saying that men are more tribal. It, men cannot work together. Men are, you know, the insinuation is blatantly obvious. And that's insulting, but more importantly, it's um, it's not accurate. Margaret Thatcher was very partisan. You know, she was a right-wing Tory and she wore a heart on her sleeve. That's what she was. And there are left-wing equivalents. So the logic to defend the sexist proposal is flawed anyway. But here's a thought, right? The Greens have a co-leader system at the moment. And their co-leaders are Jonathan Bartlett, a man, and Sean Berry, a woman, right? So is Caroline Lucas suggesting that Jonathan Bartlett is this valuable to the party in Sean Berry? I mean, how can any self-respecting male uh, in the Green Party be okay with this? And I, I've just looked at a page and pathetically some of them are lining up to defend it. I mean, you'd have to be pretty endorsed with feminist male shaming, you know, to that sort of self-guilt to actually be okay with this. Just imagine a male MP saying, oh, we should have an all-male cabinet because women are more catty, for example. That would be a generalization. And people would accuse him of wanting to go back in time where there were all-male cabinets. And he would be rightly criticized. Caroline Lucas comes out with a blatantly sexist proposal. And it's just, it it's, makes the news, which may be her intention. You know, it may be a way of making the Greens relevant. But... I don't know how any male member of the Green Party could be okay with that. I mean, if you're okay with it, if you admire Caroline Lucas, she's insulting you. She's saying you're a tribalist. You know, if you want to be okay with that, okay, that's your call. But to me, uh, I if I was a male member of the Green Party, I would be wanting an apology for that blatant sexism. And it isn't going to work. That's obvious. It isn't going to happen. But apparently she's been reaching out to women from other parties. But hopefully those women will see common sense and realize that such a crass, stupid, polarizing proposal will not work. I mean, what's the point of polarizing men who might agree with her on other issues by making a sexist generalization? It's crap like this, frankly, that really works me up about the double standards that women politicians get away with. And you see it quite a lot. Um, so I think Caroline Lucas should be put on the spot over that. I think a journalist, male or female, needs to ask her why she looks down on men, why she thinks men are so terrible. Because they're so terrible, they obviously can't work together in a cabinet. That's what she's proposing. Shame on you, Caroline Lucas. And if you're a male member of the Green Party, you know, have some self-respect. Call it out. Just have some self-respect because no one can say that isn't sexist. It is. It is blatantly sexist. 